welcome to our youtube channel so today i am going to explain you how to uh, import csv file to microsoft access database easily actually this is very simple method here i use vba codes to complete this task so by using this method you can import any csv file by a single click before go to the video, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Okay, now let's go to the video. So here I have created new access database. So my database name is import CSV. So to do this task, you should have a sample CSV file. So I have prepared a sample CSV file here. So my sample CSV file name is sample. So I'll show you how to import the sample CSV file to my access database using a single click. So to do this task, I need a form. So I'm going to create a new form. Click on the create tab. Then take a blank form. Then save your form. So my na uh, form name is FRM CSV. Then I want to create a command button on my form. So go to the design view and click on the design tab. Then add the command button. Then my command button name is import csv. Then I want to change name of my command button to cmd. import csv so this is the name of my command button now i'm going to vba mod so right click on the button then select build again then choose code builder then press ok now i'm going to write my code here under the cmd import csv click event so that is the command button so here i'm going to dim several variables so first one is dim so here before to, before go to the coding part you need to add one file so go to tools then click on the references then you have to activate or check microsoft is 16.0 of the library to database so this should be added so you can find this one under the references then press ok after adding press ok now i am going to dim several variables dim dlg as file dialog then again dim file name as string then again dim import table as string now after that I want to give the name of my CSV and I want to give the name of my table import table name so the, my uh, table name is here is sample so therefore import table equals in inverted commas So this is the name of my import table. So I give the name. So name is sample. So import name, import table name is sample. Then I want to create a file dialog box to browse the CSV file. So how to create a file dialog box? So this is the code we need to add. Set dlg equals 
application dot file dialog the inverted commas MSO file dialog picker then close the bracket then press enter so after that we have to allow users to select only csv files so how to uh, allow users to select only csv files to do that we need to add following code dlg dot filters dot add space in csv files close inverted commas comma then again inverted commas asterisk mark dot csv then close inverted commas after that you need to show the dialog box and give the selected file name to do that this is the code you need to add if dlg dot show equals minus one then file name equals dlg dot selected items within open the bracket and close the bracket is in bracket one yeah now after that what you need to import the csv file into the specified table so next proceed is you need to import the csv file into the specified table so to import the uh, csv file to the specified table you need to add do cmd dot transfer text ac bordering then import table file name to right then after that finally you need to add a message box to use that the uh, cm csc file import successful so therefore you need to add message box msg box CSV imports successfully. Then we be information. Then you, to close, then you need to close the end if then you need to clean uh, clean the code uh, clean the proceed to clean up what should it be set ELG equals nothing yes so this is the code you need to add to import csv uh, by one click so let's test the code say would we work and go to the microsoft access then you need to go to form view so once you are in the form view just click on import csv so once you click on import csv you have a file dialog like this so 
so it shows on the CSV files in more desktop. So uh, in desktop, you can see a CSV file called sample. So click on the sample and press OK. Once you click on the uh, OK, then you see a command button called CSV import successfully and press OK. You see your CSV file is ready. Now this is your CSV file. So likewise, you can import a CSV file uh, by using this method. So I'll include code under the video description and also I'll add uh, code to my personal blog site and I'll add the link to link uh, in video description. So this is the procedure you need to follow to import CSV files to access database easily. So I think it is clear to you and I think this is very much helpful to you for your day to day works. Then do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Let's meet with another video. That's it for today. Thank you very much.